We got our model, gave them a crazy talk script and gave them emotions and expressions, but now we wish to add in special effects. Okay, so let's learn about special effects, but there is one important lesson and tip we should review first. All special effects, even global special effects, are always tied to specific crazy talk scripts. So even if we have a project with three to four characters and we want lightning to be global throughout the project, I cannot add it to the stage, but I must choose a particular character and a particular crazy talk script to add that special effect in. So special effects are always tied to crazy talk scripts. Alright, so just remember that mantra and we should be alright. So let's open up my character's crazy talk script. Now notice at the bottom there is a track called special effects. Actually, there are two, but one is hidden. So let's right click on special effects track name, then you can select special effects swap, which is a secondary track for special effects. And this gives you the ability to have two special effects occur at overlapping times. Now to open the special effects panel, just double click on the track. And notice we have several templates to choose from in several categories. Just by clicking on the special effect, we can instantly see a preview. Make sure you browse through and find the right special effects for your characters and projects. Each category has meaning. For instance, under metaphors, we can choose Cupid, which of course means love. There are also some really cool default ones, such as gas mask, disguise, and raining. There are also image overlays, which is where we can import images to into the program to use to enhance our projects. So let me choose the location for the image overlay and then go to the modify and import the image that we wish to use. We can also do full screen effects, for example transitions, which you can learn about in the timeline editor tutorial. There is also text special effects, which are like adding in text bubbles and messages, which goes great with comics and animated strips. Alright, so for this project, I wish to add in a special effects for rain and then use the special effects swap track and add in a text bubble. This way the rain will be in the foreground and the text bubble will appear behind the rain. After selecting a special effect, we can modify it. For example, I will choose this text bubble, then go to the modify tab and add in some text for this bubble. Then I can use this tool at the bottom left to transform the bubble to the location I wish to place the special effects. And that is how we can add special effects to our projects.